Hello and welcome to Live Earth TV. I'm Shira Lazar. The Dow Live Earth Run for Water is only a couple of months away, and today we can tell you about some of the influential athletes who will take part. On Sunday, April 18th, join us in cities around the world to raise awareness and funding for the largest global water initiative in history. The Dow Live Earth Run for Water will feature a series of 6K run walks, concerts, and water education activities. Leading the way will be world-renowned athletes, including Kara Goucher, the number one ranked American marathon runner in 2009, nine-time Olympic gold medalist Carl Lewis, and professional athlete and fashion model Jenny Fletcher. The casual run walk is on a 6K or 3.7 mile course, symbolic of the average distance that women and children walk every day to get clean, safe drinking water. And today we have Kara Goucher with us, the number one ranked marathon runner in the U.S. How are you today, Kara? Thanks, Shira. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. So how did you get involved in the Live Earth Run for Water? Um, I actually heard about the event, the Live Earth Run for Water, and I wanted to become involved and help out. Um, because I'm a runner, I've traveled all around the world competing, and it's given me a chance to really feel connected to different communities and cultures around the world, and I felt like this was a really great opportunity to raise awareness and, and money for such an important global crisis, and also to do it through running, which is my passion. So I was really excited about it. It seemed like a great fit for me to be involved. Definitely. So why do you think it's important to raise awareness for the global water crisis? I think sometimes um, in the communities you live in, I live in Portland, Oregon, where it rains all day and our city is built around a river and we have big fountains in the parks. I think sometimes you forget that there are people struggling. Um, I was reading that one in eight people in the world have unsafe water. so are unable to have safe water sources and that's a lot of people and I think it's just important to raise the awareness for people to know what's going on to know that there's something they can do to help. What struck you the most about the impacts of the global water crisis? I think what um, struck me the most was reading about the women and children that have to walk often up to six kilometers to a water source and um, much of the time it's not even a safe water source and for children uh, to be doing this and to sort of have to make a choice between their education and survival. That really struck me and stuck with me and I just think that's a really shocking fact and I think people need to know about that. I'm sure. How does running in an event like this compare to the competitive marathon events you're usually running in? Um, they're very different. When I'm running a marathon, it's about how I'm doing, and I'm running for my passion of the sport, my friends, my family, and the people who have supported me. But at the end of the day, it's really, did I win or not? That's what kind of what it breaks down to, and it's really just sort of about me and what I'm trying to accomplish. R doing an event like this, it's just about bringing global awareness and bringing so many other people in, and so it's such a bigger stage, and it's so much more important, honestly, than what I do when I run a marathon. So how many months do you train before a major competition? Well, I train all year round. I um, train twice a day, every single day. But when I decide I'm going to run, for instance, the New York City Marathon or the Boston Marathon, about four months out, I'll really start tweaking my workouts to be geared towards that particular event. What is your favorite way to cross train? Um, I cross train a lot because your body can only do so much running. So. I like the elliptical machine and I like to aqua jog. I like being in the water. Do you participate in any strength or resistance training in addition to cardio? And so if yes, what activities do you do and how often for all those out there? Yes, I have a strength program. I meet a strength trainer three days a week. So we do weights and circuits and things like that. And then I also do Pilates a couple times a week as well. Nice. Do you listen to music or the radio while you run or train? Any favorites? I do listen to music on my easier runs or when I'm lifting weights a lot. And I'm just a top 40s girl. I like whatever is current and on the radio. But I think probably my favorites are the All American Rejects and the Black Eyed Peas. They just are great workout music. What do you do to warm up before a run? Um, if it's just an easy run, I'll just do a few stretches and just kind of start. If it's like an actual speed session, I'll 
jog 15, 20 minutes, do a series of drills like high knees and skipping, um, do some stretching, do a variety of strides. It'll take me about an hour to warm up for like a speed session or a race, same thing. So describe that feeling you have when you've just completed a race. It must be amazing. Um, I usually feel very overwhelmed when I complete a race. I put so much into training and, and so much preparation into the event. So when I'm done, I'm usually sort of emotional and I feel an immense sense of accomplishment. Everything that I put into it to be able to, to accomplish that and to finish the race, it, it's, it's a great feeling. I'm sure. What would you say to people who've never participated in a run walk to encourage them to participate in this event on April 18th? You know, even if you've never run before, you can do this and you're going to have a new respect for your body after you're able to accomplish that. And it's not just running a local 5K or a local 6K. It's about doing something that's going to better the world. So it's a really great chance to do something, discover more about yourself, push yourself to a new limit, and in the process, help the world. Well, thanks again so much for joining us today, Kara. Thanks, Shira. I appreciate how you having me, and I look forward to seeing you on April 18th. You can start solving the problem today and sign up to run in a Dow Live Earth Run for Water Run Walk at liveearth.org. All participants will receive a free online active trainer plan to help them prepare for the event. Whether you run, jog, walk, or just come to enjoy the entertainment, everybody's participation is important to help solve the world water crisis. You can also get involved by organizing a run walk through the Friends of Live Earth program. Save water in your home and local community through conservation efforts. Give money to support clean, safe water projects. And speak up by signing the Live Earth petition to add water as a basic human right to the UN Declaration of Human Rights. Remember to catch all of our episodes. Just go to liveearth.org slash TV. I'm Shira Lazar. I'll see you soon.